Hi, good day everybody. Today, a try hack mirror is this new room. Uh, introduction to cryptography. It's a lot of information in this room, so I'm not going too much in detail. You can read about it. So basically, there will be symmetry key and symmetric encryption like RSA, IS, DeFi, Hellman key exchange, hashing, and PKI <coughs> for. <coughs> Now, you can see in the introduction they start with the first one is well known in cryptography. The easier one is Caesar cipher, which is like permutation of letters. You switch letters, for example, in this case, you decide to swing by a number, like, like in this case, A becomes D. You switch it to three position A, B, C, D. This is more rotation. This is an easy cipher. Uh, then there is a trans, what do you call this one? The transposition cipher. If you did security, Compte Security Plus, all these are part of it. They ask question about this type of ciphers. Uh, the same things here, like 42. You can see if we use the key 423514, it's the N is here, 2 is a P. A three is a C and five and one. I said I'm not going to detail in these things. You can read about it. Okay, here <clears throat> because uh, one way to solve these things is always we call dictionary attack. Because if you use certain language like English, the certain character they keep appearing, and we know the the percentage of them. And here they give us this site. Like for example, if you want to test this one, let's test it. This here, this is software. So you see the pro automatic select static mode. You can see the, the wave detection, and we can see this is the more makes sense in English. Today is victory. So these ones are not ready. So you can assume this one is the answer because it makes more sense in English. So this is depend on the percentage of letters. Now if we go to symmetric encryption is no one to use the same key for encryption and for decryption. Uh, send this and the key or key by key is the same key to decrypt. Uh, okay, this is a lot of information again here. The idea the castle say Comte Security Plus has this. If you want to go the blue fish, the tall fish, uh, if we go again, okay, we come here. There is uh, the encryption, the, the top famous one this is the GNU Privacy Guard, and we know, of course, the open SSL. That's the key. Now let's try to do this example. CD root root uh, rooms keep the value task task two. Let's see the question. Decrypt the file code one. This one using IS256 with a key. They give us a key and they ask. You see the command for GPC to decrypt is this one. So we can say GPG the GPG the output output of course the file you can call it original message if you want message.txt and we want to decrypt. Oops, sorry. Decrypt code one. Oh, what we did wrong. GPG the output 
decrypt dec dec no I'm uh, so suddenly I'm, uh, my brain is freezing now dec ripped huh What I did wrong? I don't know. GPG mines output original message .txt, then we decrypt the file decrypt, and then the GPG file. So the code one. Decrypt the file code one. Encrypted using an ice with a key using. No, this is really uh, why he said it doesn't. I tried in my computer before and did work. Uh, CD task 2 GPG output original message. Two dot txt dec ripped uh, code which for code zero one uh, sorry gpg Oh, no, you're asking for the password. S K R three T fifty five. So let's cut original. I don't know why here didn't work. I'm, I'm confused. Maybe I was. Any case, uh, what is the th third word? Third word. Do not waste. So, waste. Do not waste. Okay. So, I don't know what's going on, but in any case, then dec decrypt the file. Now, use OpenSSL. Okay. OpenSSL. You see, this is decrypt for OpenSSL. OpenSSL decrypt the file. So OpenSSL, it uses IS256 uh, CBC minus minus D minus N. Encrypted message is code two. Then output, you can call it what's in the. You can call it my message. The text the password is s dash k r three t five five I don't know okay let's see that all sneak cut my message okay it give me what he said what is the third word science science Okay, guys, now let's see. Decrypt the file code 3 encryption use Camellia with a key within a GPG. Okay, so let's try again this before using my computer. Decrypt of GPG is uh, this one. Output, uh, let's call it m3.txt. Dick, Dick. Ripped code three. Uh, now is working for whatever reason. Let's see. Uh, S uh, K R three T fifty five. 
Okay, let's cut M3. Let's see what it said. What is the third? It's always a third word. Okay. Uh, and uh, stand. Okay, let's go to the other one. The, uh, Asymmetric encryption. I think this one is more uh, powerful, but uh, it has uh, two keys. Uh, it is well known to use it for confidentiality and uh, integrity, authentication, no repudiation. All this CompTIA Security Plus, Bob and Alice. I still remember my years ago when I did my Security Plus CompTIA. It's well known using RSA. RSA is known to use the prime numbers. Yes, guys, you can read about it here, as I said. Uh, okay, let's see. Okay, this is all about how to generate the keys, how to check them. Uh, okay, let's go to task 3. CD task 3. So, what we have? He said Bob has received the uh, this encrypted message sent him from Alice. You can find the key. Of course, this Alice and Bob. You can decrypt it by uh, Bob private key. If I'm not uh, yeah, it must be Bob private key. Yeah. What is the first word in the origin plain text? Now, if we want to decrypt, uh, this is how to decrypt the file. So let's use it. Open SSL. P K E Y T N minus decrypt minus in the cipher text is cipher in key is the private key of Mr. Bob. Okay, minus out the dick ripped Bob dot txt. Let's cut the crypt bob. Well, it's it. What is the first word in ocean? The first word is perception. So it's perception. Take a look at both private RSA key. What is the last byte of P? P. P is the, the primes. There's prime one, prime two, modus is this one. So let, let's try open SSL RSA minus in private key of Mr. Uh, what the hell is happening? My um, minus text dash new out. Okay, let's what we have now. Let's make it uh, bigger. My connection is getting, I don't know. So the P is a prime one. So let's look for prime one. He said, what is the last byte of P? Prime one, the last one is E7. Oops. Last one is E7. Uh, e I think my connection is getting slow. Prime one is E7, and then the Q. The Q is prime two. Prime two is 27. Let's use 27. Now the Q is a prime two. Okay, let's see. Then we have this, the fire helmet key exchange, if I'm not mistaken, is the same story of Alice Bob. This one, if they want to uh, buy insecure channels to connect to each other to send me a message with... Uh, yeah, I think the fire helmet is the one used for asymmetric to send the private um, key to secure the transaction of the key. That's his job, the, the DeFi Hellman key exchange. You can guys read about it here, as I said. It's better to spend time on this. It's uh, especially if you are going to CompTIA Security Plus. There's a lot of question in this type of cryptography. Okay, the question is in Task Force CD. 
task rcd 04 the question is it a set of defy helmet parameter can be found what is the size of course here we need to uh, check the this with open SSL of course open SSL is the why I'm can't open what is so I'm losing connection open SSL DH param my Uh, minus in dh parma and then uh, minus text is same as they do before new out now let's see what it said uh, what is the size of the prime number in yeah, the size that's the size 4 4096 49.6 what is the prime number uh, the last byte last byte last byte last byte is 4f 4f hashing hashing is when when it's used for a special for passwords to be before you when you save them in the database of course you use hashing is a couple of hashing uh is sha five two six you get hex them text one then h mark cryptography key in addition to hash function okay okay let's see the the question now cd task 05 oops task hold on i think my internet is getting slow cd task 5 yeah three times to 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 connect to this try hack me today i'm not sure what's wrong with their boxes today what is the SHA-5-6 SHA, ok this is straight in Linux SHA what the hell 256 order JSON. you can use the SHA directly this is the SHA file then open the order vim order json change this is when new info show any small change you, you change the show will change that's why they use it for uh, verify for example file download and things like that show it doesn't uh, the shot totally change because usually that's why there's two shy we call it colliders that's why certain uh, using sha h mark now we're using the h mark h mark 256 what is this mark for order so the key is 3 r f d f z 82 the file order dot text text okay and here we find this hmark what is this um pika i s oh, the tls uh, like uh, two weeks ago like take over room when there was an SSL issue with it is example.org what well, let's see play around you know this SSL from this thing so it's uh, we can use try hack me SSL yeah. 
connection is secure more information view certificate uh, use let's encrypt the expression date and all of that uh, this is how to generate the key of course I think there's a lot of information in this room you might get confused you don't need to remember really this but you still need to at least you know an overall information I think the connection is ok CD task 6 what we need to ask, what is the size of the public key in bits hmm. what public key oops uh, sorry open, uh, oh they already give us the so we just need this command what is the size of the public key in bits? the size, so what is the size this is the RSA public key 4 4 0 9 6 till which year is the certificate valid? not after 2039 2039 and uh, this one this is task 7 uh, authentication password ok this is the password stories you hash the password and sometimes you add that sort of things <coughs> we recommend you to check password storage sheet if you like to learn more about you were auditing a system when discovered that the MD5 hash of the admin password is this what is the original password ok they give us a website let's go to it we take the hash I don't know why they give us this funny so website then uh, the password hash MD5 is easy to crack so and then uh, cryptography and data part is trust all of this you can guys read about it and conclusion uh, of course guys this room is uh, it's easy but the information is a lot as I said if someone uh, is preparing for CompTIA Security Plus it's good to take time and read all about this uh, I hope you like the room Please like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Have a good day.